Now we're headed into Kuta to meet up with the rest of Tim and Tyson's family at the seafood house. Tyson's a chef, so he was pretty excited to see what they had. And they had a lot. There are a ton of people in town for the wedding, so we ate family style. Everybody shared everything. But to keep it easy for you, I'll just price out what I ate. I had a glass of wine and some of these green clams for $5.17. They had all kinds of delicious seafood. We feasted like kings. It was great. After dinner, we walked around Kuta for a little while. Tyson and I stumbled upon a cheap hostel that we thought was worth showing you. Kuta Suki, 21 US dollars a night. A lot of people stay in Kuta because there's shopping and nightlife. We decided to walk around to see what we could see. It's quite the hip neighborhood. We stumbled upon a free live show. She was great. And if you're too lazy to walk around, you can always do the horse and buggy. We decided to grab a drink at the espresso bar. Got a beer for two bucks. It was a pretty chill vibe at the espresso bar, but we were told if you wanted to dance to head across the street to Patty's Pub. Everyone in Kuta is really friendly, so don't be shy. Just remember to bring your dancing shoes, because they like to party. After Patty's, we went next door to Bounty. Look at that footwork. I personally don't smoke tobacco, but if that's your thing, you can get a hookah here. These guys had some decent moves, but I thought I'd show them how it's really done. I thought I was doing pretty good, but the guy sitting next to me didn't seem impressed. I promise one of these days I'll actually learn to dance. Until then, I'll just sort of bounce around and shake my arms. To watch the full episode of Dirt Cheap with Chaz Bruns, click the link below.